Notre Dame at NC State. Uh, this game, it was the score kind of like in the third quarter made it seem like it was a close game. But from what I was watching, it was not a close game. What, what did you think? Well, it was a weird game. You had the big weather delay, obviously. Um, NC State made it close in the third quarter, and then Notre Dame pulled away like elite teams, or I, I wouldn't say elite, but like really good teams do. If you're Notre Dame, a game you should win on the road, do not keep NC State in it, and they kind of let him come back a little bit, but then they put the hammer down, right? Sam Hartman impressed again, right? You had explosive plays from Notre Dame, offense, 80-yard run from Audric Estime. You had 40 yards from Holden Stays, the tight end. You had 65 yards from Tyree on that broken play. Tobias Merriweather, even 45 more. So it's it's nice to see Notre Dame's offense continue to have success against a, you know, a team that you believe has a pretty good defense and a good defense coaching staff. And then on the flip side, your defense, if you're Notre Dame, played pretty darn well. You stopped the run like you knew they, they should. You put the game in Brandon Armstrong's hands, and he made some plays for sure, but also that offense is not quite ready to compete at an elite level yet with conception still getting used to, you know, power five football or I'm sorry, Bradley Rosner still getting used to NC state football. Kevin conception's a young guy. Um, they'll, they'll continue to get better. Um, but the ACC is not a joke this year for NC state, it, it, a team that we were both high on, right. Coming into the year. Um, but the, not going to be many guaranteed wins for them in the ACC. And I think it's going to be really, really good football played that in that conference, but NC state has the possibility to play a really good football. Right, we saw it in stretches in that game, um. But yeah, they lost by twenty-one points at home. Never a great sign, you know. Kind of ran out of gas in the fourth quarter. But yeah, what say you? Yeah, I I think uh, I think Notre Dame might be a pretty good team this year. Um, Robert and I, I he, I think these guys work cut out for him a little bit. Uh, I still believe in him. I always will. But Sam Hartman, man, I mean Sam Hartman. Gosh, what. What would well? There's some teams out there that would give their left nut to have Sam Hartman on their team. He is How about playing Tommy very, Reese. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. wouldn't he? Wouldn't oh. he love? Wouldn't he, wouldn't he love Sam? Wouldn't Hartman? He, wouldn't he love to have a quarterback like Sam Hartman? So Audrick Estime is just is a dog. They're running the ball very effectively when they need to, which is very nice for Notre Dame. They're a better football team when they're able to do that. That historically, that that's just the way it's been. Um, defensively, I still have some questions about their defensive line. Uh, we'll see. I mean, they have a tough schedule this year, right? So we're going to find out pretty quickly if their uh, D line is going to be able to actually cause like a lot of mayhem. Now they, they did cause some mayhem to, to Brennan Armstrong, but it also felt like Brennan Armstrong, he, he took off a lot. And uh, I don't know. It, it was, it was, it was a weird game. Like you said, it was a weird game. I'm not going to put a ton of stock into it. Because of the fact that I do believe that Notre Dame is a good football team. And, uh, uh, I do. I do think it was a bad matchup for NC State. I did take Notre Dame to win and cover on our picks. Uh, so uh, this was not a surprising result to me, but definitely looking good. Definitely looking good for Notre Dame for sure. I think looking ahead for Notre Dame, right? You got oh, I was saying two weeks. You got to get ready for that game. I think you got yeah. You got a MAC team coming in, um, or something like that to get healthy against, and then you get Ohio State. At Duke, at Louisville, USC, before the bye. I mean, that that's a gauntlet right there. And not to mention Clemson after the bye. And say what you want about Clemson, but by then, hopefully, they'll get things figured out. It's still a talented roster there. If they can go 3-1 and one in their, those, those four games right that I mentioned before the bye, that is damn good. That's damn good. And they're going to really put themselves in a conversation for a college football playoff, especially in a year. The SEC does not have two deserving teams, we don't think. Right, The Big Ten is kind of discombobulated as well, especially if you're able to beat a team like Ohio State. Uh, Notre Dame's got a really, really you know, prime chance to make some runs right the next the next four or five weeks. Right, So 